the first ever episode of Dust514101. In this episode, you will learn the very basics of how to make a character, the specializations of the characters, the races of the characters. So let's start. You start with three empty slots. In these slots, you can have as many as three characters active on this account at any one time. However, only one character at any one time can gain SP passively. Let's create a new character. Here you will see four races. The Kaldari State, the Mimitar Republic, the Galente Federation, and the Amar Empire. Choosing your race in Dust514 has no real effect on your character. It does not lock you out of anything that allows you to progress in the game. It simply chooses where you start in the, Eve in the New Eden universe, as well as also what your mercenary quarters look like. This is the Kaldari Merc Quarters. This is the Mimitar Merc Quarters. This is the Galente Merc Quarters. This is the Amar Merc Quarters. For now, let's make a Kaldari character. After choosing your race, you'll be given the choice of three bloodlines. Again, they will have no effect on your actual character. It simply gives a bit of background information. For the Kadari, you get Deities, Achira, and Sivre. In Mimitai, you get the Sebestia, the Bruta, and the Veracora. In the Galentean, you get the Junmei, the Intaki, and Galente. In Amar, you get the Amar, the Nikunai, and the Canid. For this demonstration, let's make a Deterus. And let's make her female. This part does affect your character. It simply selects what skills you start with. For example, the Arbiter specialization could be described as a sniper. The Enforcer could be described as an all-around assault. The Sentinel could be described for anti-vehicle. And the Artificer could be described as logical support. Again, none of these abilities and none of these skills affect your final character. Choosing one of these does not lock you in to any specific particular role or job. How you specialise your character inside the game will ultimately determine what kind of mercenary you become. Choosing one of these simply gives you a head start in one or more areas. For now, let's make an artificer. Once you've done that, you will give them the choice of four portraits. Choosing one of these will permanently show what your character looks like inside the world of New Eden to both Dust and Eve mercenaries. So pick wisely. How do you want to be seen? For now, I will choose the logistics portraits.
Now it's time to name our character. Warning. Choosing a name is final. You are very much... It is very much a good idea to not name your character after any clan that you are planning to join. Even though it is a good show of, of fealty, nothing truly lasts in the world of New Eden. So you advise to give a name that you will last with, rather than a name that will give you egg in your face once the game is... once stuff might happen in the future. But you can also put spaces in the first name as well. Once you are ready to create your character, press OK. Once you have done this, your character will be fully created. And there we have it. Our character is now created. If we wish to delete our character, we can press Terminate. It will then go on a 24 hour downtime without the where until the character will be deleted. Let's go into our new character. is a good idea to work through all of the tutorials. Pressing start or L1 will bring up the Neocom. Your Neocom provides remote access to the market, allows you to customize combat fittings. Like For now, let's look around our quarters. You'll notice that you'll be given you'll notice that you'll be given a suit to walk around in outside of battle. That is your favourite. Depending on which on depending on, on which you can choose when you select your speciality will affect what you actually get in your mercenary quarters. This can be changed at any time. Simply go to the fitting window, press X on the suit that you want to look like. Then press favourites. It will go to the top of your list, and next time you load into the, and next time you load into the mercenary quarters or the war barge, your favourite will appear as your avatar. Let's take a look at the skills window. There are many different skills. Current skills shows you what skills you have already. All skills shows you what skills you can buy. From corporation control for those wishing to lead in the future, demolitions and grenades, dropsuit command, and much much more. There are many many different skills. We will go into this in another episode. For now, for now let's just cover the basics. By pressing select, you bring up the chat window. From here, you can talk to the people in your local, in your corporation, if you are with them, or create a squad. You can also create and join chat channels by pressing the create slash join button. Simply type in the name of the channel that you wish to create or join and press create slash join. Chat channels are a great way of communication with people that are outside your corporation. In order to talk to them with your voice inside a chat channel, you must buy a universal voice translator. They are bought by using Aurum. Corporations are a major part of EVE Online and Dust514. Going to my corporation shows the corporation that you are in now. Every person starts off in an NPC corporation. It is a good idea to, to get into into a real it is a good idea to get into a real corporation as soon as possible. There are many corporations for you to join. 
If you wish, you can search on the Dust514 forums for all of the corporations recruiting. Or you can ask in local if anyone is looking for more members of their corporation. It is a good idea to it is a good idea to find out as much as you can about that corporation before you join it, as it as the name of the corporation will forever be on your employment record. To join a corporation, you must first search for the corporation's name or ticker. By searching the ticker, the name also comes up. If you have friends that are in a corporation already added to your contact list, you can add them and, and search for a corporation through your friends. When you're applying to a corporation, it is always a good idea to put in a note in, inside the application to say that who you are and what your intentions are. That way, you may get a better response when applying. Press send to send your application. You can send applications to multiple corporations. However, once your your corporation has once you have been accepted to a corporation, all the other applications will be deleted. From in a corporation, you can apply to any other corporation. To create a corporation, you will need a few skills. Corporation control is the basic skill required for making a corporation. To purchase a skill book, you simply select Purchase a new skill book and then Buy. Once you have bought a skill, you press Use skill book. And the skill has been installed into your clone. Currently, there are no levels trained on corporation control. You can see that the next, in order to train level 1, it will cost me 6,220 SP. I currently have 369,644 SP unallocated to my character. I can use this to train the first level of corporation control. By pressing triangle, you can find out more information about that skill. For example, corporation control gives 10 more players to a corporation if you are the CEO. Or in other words, the leader of your corporation. In order to create a corporation, we go to create corporation. It, it, it bear in mind it will cost one thousand five hundred and sorry, bear in mind it will cost one million five hundred ninety nine thousand eight hundred isk to create a corporation. You put the, the name and ticker and a basic description of your corporation. The ticker simply allows you to identify your corporation easier. Members can search for the ticker rather than the full name in order to find your corporation. The logo is the public face of your corporation. There are many different parts that you can choose. To make your corporation look unique. It is a good idea to have an aesthetically pleasing and interesting logo, as this will be your corporation's logo. You can change it at any time in the future. Once you are ready to create your corporation, press OK. However, in this demonstration, we will not be creating a corporation.
the marketplace. This is where you will buy all of your items. You can also restock items from your fitting window. Every item, except for, with the exception of militia gear, requires skill points in certain areas. Every item in Dust 514 requires skill points in certain area, with the exception of militia gear. Militia gear, uh, militia gear is the most basic gear that you can buy. It is a good idea to buy some of everything so you can test what, what it is you feel that you like. Creating a squad and playing with friends is a very integral part of Dust 514. There are a number of ways of doing this. First, you must create your squad if you want to be the squad leader. Simply go, press select, and press select, go, press select, and create squad. And in a few moments, your squad will be created with only you in it. You'll see four empty slots. To invite a person to a squad, they first need to be in your contacts. To add a contact, you can either go to a chat channel, select a person, and add contacts. Or, you can go to the contacts page and search for a contact. Once you have a contact added, they will appear as an alert on your contact list. Here you will also find invites to squads. You then go to squad and invite player. Select the player you want you wish to invite. Then press OK. You can also search for a person to add to a contact with a search bar. What is very important once you have your squad up is communication. When you are in a match, you don't really have time to type or try to explain your troubles over the over the text. You, so you must first activate voice by going to the settings and press activate voice. Raise voice chat turn on, excuse me. And then save. Then you go to squad and press activate voice. By default Push to talk is on, which means you will need to press left on the D-pad in order to use your voice. You can change this by pressing X on push to talk at the top of, of each chat channel. In order to talk in chat, other chat channels, you will need a UVT. You can, without a UVT, you can only talk in corp and team.